Hey, my blossoming tribe. Uh, I'm doing this vlog, a vlog actually, um, <clears throat> about my journey in the coming days, weeks, um, because a lot of things have been shifting and just in a beautiful way. A lot of opportunities are coming into my life and um, can get overwhelming. So I'll be doing a workshop and uh, be hosting like holding a booth in the serpent mound event peace summit in ohio in march and i'm not gonna lie to me my first time and so i'm gonna be documenting my my trip going there documenting what it's like you know um now that i've started to really answer the call of my soul and i really stepped into what I really want to do based on my what my soul wants and not what my mind thinks I should be doing um, it's a little scary because it's not real it's interesting even in like our purpose work in the purpose of light workers that it can still come from the conditioning of the world like when you know when you try to um, do good in the community <clears throat> like you're supposed to start a nonprofit. you're supposed to be this be that and a lot of them are pretty like good ideas like they they, they are based on a reasoning that's very it, it has a meaning like it has a basis they have basis but when it comes to the soul's calling it can be so outside of the box even for light worker standards <laughs> whatever that means and it's very very scary to step into that it was really scary to step into my own because like who am i to be stepping on my own like what is that platform i'm stepping on i don't see any platform there you know i'm not following anyone i'm not it's just me and it's very very scary and Ever, but as like I, I got, I just got to the point that I have to, you know, my spirit guides really push me into that, having no choice. And the universe is really good at that. I know you know what I mean. But um, but now that I've stepped into it, now a lot of, not a lot, but several opportunities have been cropping up into my life, including this one, and I'm having to now grapple with the unfolding of my life and uh the other day i watched a video um from terry um rivera's page about uh, 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 uh a message from chief golden light eagle it's a beautiful video let's see if i can link it below um and, it, and it's about manifesting your dreams and the steps and one of the the first step i believe is fasting and i i i intermittent fast like i don't eat breakfast uh for a while now for maybe five months now i mean even that even for a year now i mean it's, it, ha it wasn't that consistent before but it's now recently in the past several months i have not been eating breakfast but I haven't really fasted for a whole day. So yesterday I decided to fast because of that video. Because it seemed like it's part of like manifesting our dreams. I'm like, I haven't done that. So maybe I should do that. So I did, I did that yesterday. Well, yeah, yesterday I was, uh, I fasted for a whole day. And it's interesting how... Well, I was inspired by Lagita and Mamarita Lagita and Tindoma because I saw him fast for three days before and he still had a, he had a lot more energy than I did. <laughs> so seeing that, I saw the potential of like fasting and I wanted to test it out. Like, you know, the energy and not being attached to this craving for food and see if I'd still have energy. And today's the second day and it's like about almost lunch time now and i haven't eaten i mean, i only drink i've drank i drink water and a few ju uh, mango juice and ginger juice so um and i still have energy i still have energy to talk and record this video so it's very interesting how 
I still have this energy and I actually feel lighter and I actually did a lot of work yesterday and I received a lot of downloads and visions and dreams and I feel like I've connected to the spirit realm more and I, I feel them more and I feel my intuition more so um, so it's a very spiritual and another reason why I did it is because it's very spiritual and um, and I'm just proud of myself now I can tell people I've done it so I'm gonna do it till dinner time today and or maybe till tomorrow morning That's, well, I'll see how I feel but yeah I just wanted to share that and um, I feel like this is preparing me for my journey ahead I think this is gonna be a very wonderful journey so I'm just going to be enjoying it there's a lot of unknowns there's a lot of risks that i'm taking um i'm actually going to austin texas after um ohio the event in ohio and i'm gonna be i'm about to book my train there and i don't have any place to stay <laughs> and it's just I feel my intuition is leading me there. I don't know if it's really my intuition or if it's just my imagination, but we'll see. But I've done this so many times that, you know, I'm probably gonna go do this and just jump and leap and see what happens. Whatever happens, I know that I'm gonna learn something from it. I can say that at least I tried and I did it. And, you know rather than like not even trying like i don't want to die not knowing i want to know i want to know what's there if there's nothing there then there's nothing there but i'm going and i'm gonna be documenting my my trip i'm gonna be documenting what i find because i feel like i'm this is gonna help other people if not because my intention hopefully for other people who follow this path i hope it's gonna be a little easier for all for all of you maybe this is just something for you to know what other people had to do for the next generation to enjoy so maybe this is for the next generation to see so um so yeah that's my vlog I'm gonna keep posting. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna keep recording. I'm gonna keep. I'm also gonna record. You know my preparation and things like that. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. And thank you for being part of my journey, uh, blossoming tribe. And I hope that you're also enjoying your journey, enjoying your richness of life, because we only live once in this lifetime. We only have one present moment right now so enjoy it i love you until next time